New Game Plus in Assassin's Creed Odyssey is coming soon as part of the 1.14 update and that update also brings way more big features to the game that you can totally already prepare for. In this video I will share a lot of tips and tricks of things you can do before you start New Game Plus and how to get the most out of the new features that will be added with that new big update. If you enjoyed that then a like would be super appreciated and let's go! New Game Plus will let us replay the whole game with all our resources, levels, abilities, weapons, gear, ship upgrades and lieutenants from the Ubisoft Club and store as we saw in the notification that popped up in the February content video. Of course first things first you have to complete the main story of Odyssey before you can do the New Game Plus. I would also recommend that you make a manual save before you start New Game Plus so that you can always go back to your non New Game Plus save and have the full world explored if you of course already completed the game because in this mode we will start from the beginning but also all the locations in the world will turn to question marks again including the tombs where we can probably get new ability points by exploring them in the new game plus modes. So I would recommend that you make sure that you complete all the tombs in your current game to secure all the ability points that you are able to get out of the world and then you are able to do all the tombs again in the new game plus mode and maximize the amount of ability points you have in the end. If you don't know where all the tombs are don't worry I will show you footage of all the locations of all the tombs at the end of this video so you can check what tombs you missed and visit them before the new game plus mode hits. If you still need the platinum trophy or all the achievements in Odyssey then I think it's smart to go and complete the ones you miss right now because while well, I think that you can still complete let's say all the underwater locations for the Chattel for Poseidon trophy or achievement in the new game plus mode you will have to do all the locations again that you already did in your previous save. Sure you can reload your non new game plus save and continue with all the underwater locations right there but then you miss out on some rewards like unique ship designs that you also want to take with you to your new game plus save. So yes, I think it's totally smart to go and get all the underwater locations before you switch to new game plus. I'll put a link to all the underwater locations in description down below if you haven't done them yet so you can get all the ship cosmetics. And speaking of your ship, Ubisoft already announced that we will get new ship upgrades again for our ship with the new update, likely for all the weapons and all the other parts. So I think it's totally smart to save up some resources before this big 1.14 patch hits. We saw with the previous ship upgrades they added with update 1.07 that it did not require the ancient tablets, just some regular resources. Maybe that will not be the case for the new upgrades they add because of course in the new game plus mode we should be able to find these tablets again. Either way I think it will be a big resource sink for sure, so already having a lot of iron metal olive wood and precious gems will make sure that you are able to immediately get those new ship upgrades the moment the update goes live and this is again based on those previous new upgrades they added so maybe we need some other resources I'm not entirely sure of course the best way to get resource in general is by dismantling gear or buying it at all the different blacksmiths so totally go visit all the blacksmiths in the different villages and make sure you get a ton of resources as you will likely be swimming in the drag meat although you will of course also be needing that for all the new upgrades that will be available at the Vastos workshop. With the level cap increase that will also be part of update 1.14 we're going from 70 to 99 it means that all the perks will go from level 7 to level 10 as the max. And you'll of course find those perks on level 91 gear and weapons or higher but to upgrade these higher perks we have to go to the blacksmith in the Mizen cave that you find over here on the map. And a pro tip would be is to go to this cave when the update hits to immediately get those higher rank perks before starting a new game plus save. When they added the workshop for the first time players from a lower level could already unlock perks that you only find on gear that has a way higher level requirement. So I think that will be the case when this big update hits as well that as a level 70 player or lower you can already visit this workshop and get the rank 10 perks to then engrave it on your level 70 gear. You will of course need the rank 5 perk in general so have the challenges completed or find the puzzles in the world but if you got that if you already have the level 7 perk from this workshop then you should be able to upgrade it to level 10 the moment this 
this update goes live. I will try it out and remind you in that update 1.14 video, but I totally think that this will be possible. 1.14 also adds two new mercenary tiers, S3 and S4, with some awesome new rewards, like an increase for your drop chance of epic items by 25%, and when you reach S4, you get 10% more Oricalcum from the daily and weekly bounties. So yes, you want to reach that tier as soon as possible. So it's already smart to work your way up to rank S2 and become number one there before this update hits, so then you can immediately work on rank S3 and then move on to rank S4. Of course you have to be level 70 or at least 68 for the final mercenary as that one is I think level 70. But yeah if you are level 70 or close and haven't reached the final rank of the mercenary ladder yet then I totally think that it's smart to do it. So yes with New Game Plus we will of course be able to do all the main story missions again so I think that your quest lock will likely be wiped clean. So I think this also means that all the bounties that you made some progress in will likely disappear. So totally check those bounties and try to complete them. Otherwise your progress will be all for nothing. Upgrading your gear is of course also a no brainer. Make sure you have a great loadout before the update hits so you can kick those early game bandits some ass. I of course already got some great loadouts on the channel and will highlight more here soon. So keep an eye out for that and I will link to the loadouts that are already up in the description down below. And yes we will be able to do the mythical creatures of course again in the new game plus mode as well. Pogo had a crazy theory saying that maybe the mythical creatures in this new game plus mode are these hard mode versions that in the end reward us with the abomination set. And that would of course be really really cool, some sort of hidden challenge inside the new game plus mode with a cool new outfit. While I hope that this is true, I still don't think that this will be the case though. It will likely be a rollout where they will add one hard mode boss like per month with one new gear piece from that new set. Again I think it would be awesome if these hard mode creatures were in the new game plus mode. It kind of makes sense as well that we fight these creatures again now in a different version of the world but I don't expect that this will be the case I think they will just be the same as they were before whenever these hard mode versions hit we should be able to get Ori Kalkum from these bosses on the hard mode as a load screen tip teased as well and that would be another tip try and loot the Ori Kalkum from the map before this update drops because in the new game plus mode you likely have to get all the few points again so you can't go to all these locations as fast as you want that's why I think it's smarter to change them now before you begin again. I put a link to an Ori Kalko map from Kalko Brenna and Chap on Reddit in description down below so you can hunt them all if you want. You can of course also buy the Ori Kalko map in the Helix store so you have it in your game but this is the free option so you can do what you want if you want to chase more ore. I might do that because I still haven't looted everything yet. It will help me with my search for the Hades Lieutenant, I'm sure. I still need to do some things that I mentioned here in this video, so I will totally be like maybe streaming my preparations for the new game plus mode soon. So keep an eye out on the channel for that. Subscribe for everything at Screed Odyssey if you haven't already. Like the video to support the channel. And now let's get to Sargon and see if I can finally get the Hades Lieutenant. And all the locations for the tombs will be shown after that. I'm really digging, I'm really digging this look. Really dig it. Hopefully it, uh... Gives me some luck. Yes, Sargon. Let's try and get the freaking Hades then. Come on. Come on. We're immediately going into it. Minotaur Helm. Pretty cool. Um, Hunter Headshot. No, it's not that great. But it's pretty cool that you can actually get this Minotaur Helm from an Olympian gift. So if you don't have it yet, uh, then you don't need to do the quest. That's pretty nice. Whoa, whoa. It's getting crowded here. Killing everyone, can I? Oh, no, no, no. Stay here. Hey, you as well. Oh, no. Yes, we got everyone. Oh, no, now mercenaries are also coming. Let's hope we can throw them in the water before all the mercenaries come. Of course, subscribe for everything. It's a Squid Odyssey. Like I already said, god damn it, I'm getting attacked now. Uh, check out my recent video on an item you totally want to get from Sargon. Maybe you already saw it, and maybe you already saw that video. And otherwise, I will of course speak to you next time. Again, I want to do a stream, but we will see about that. So, hope to see you then. And uh, yeah, goodbye.